Ukraine has reached out to the state of Israel and asked that it provide intelligence information to the United States about the provision by Iran to Russia of drone technology, in particular one drone, the Shahid-136, a loitering munition um, capable of diving into its target with great accuracy and great destructive power. Now, Russia hasn't formally acknowledged that it has received the Shahid-136. Indeed, the drones that are appearing over the battlefield are painted in Russian colors and bear a Russian name, the Geranium II, or Geran II. But they've been very effective in destroying Ukrainian artillery, Ukrainian command posts, and other critical targets um, along the battlefield. Now, back in July, the United States had put out intelligence information that Russia had sent a delegation to Iran to scope out uh, new drone technology with an eye on procuring a significant quantity of these drones. At that time, I believed that Russia was simply shopping for technology that could be incorporated into its own defense industry base. I believed that Russia had sufficient uh, quantities of drones of a variety of um, capabilities to meet its needs on the battlefield. Apparently, I was wrong. The nature of the conflict in Ukraine uh, differs from that which Russian doctrine normally calls for when it comes to the employment of drones. And the quantity of drones and the capability of the drones that were available to the Russian military from Russian defense in industry was insufficient to the task. So it appears that Russia has indeed procured hundreds, if not thousands, of these new Jaren Dva or Shahid-136 loitering drones, kamikaze drones. Um, and it is a game changer on the battlefield. That's my two-minute topic. Remember, knowledge is power.